Pakistan has been in apoplectic hysteria ever since India scrapped Article 370, making the erstwhile state into union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. The temporary provision of Article 370 has been removed legally and constitutionally as per the legal minds of this country. Well, political views apart, I can only say that constitutionally it is uh, sound. Uh, the consti consti no constitution or legal fault can be found uh, in it and uh, the government has carefully studied the matter and taken into account all considerations. The terror funding nation Pakistan, which made failed attempts to internationalize the whole issue with the support of China, its all-time ally at UNSC, United Nations Security Council, has failed miserably. MEA spokesperson Syed Akbaruddin said that this is our internal matter and talks will only happen with Pakistan once Pakistan stops sponsoring terrorism. Now let's understand what difference will the scrapping of Article 370 have. Article 370 granted special status to the state which was very discriminatory in nature. It will now have the same power as all other union territories and other states. All the laws like RTI, RTE and other laws of the Indian constitution will be equally applicable which was not the case earlier. It will not have a separate constitution and flag which was the case earlier. Now people from other parts of the country will be able to buy property in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. If a woman marries anyone outside the union territory, she will continue to retain all her rights including the rights of property and citizenship. It will be very easy for the central government and the state government to implement all the laws in the process of eradicating separatism and terrorism as all the state laws like earlier will no longer be applicable. An expert like General Huda believes that Pakistan will exploit in promotion of terrorism from across the state using the fragile and sensitive situation currently in JNK. Removal of Article 370 will have a devastating effect only for those who believe in the anti-India theory and propaganda. It will on the other hand have a direct benefit to those who are directly affected by the law the people of the Union Territory, Jammu and Kashmir. Please ask yourself, why is it that all the separatists send their children abroad to lead a better life while they keep exploiting the common youth of the Kashmir Valley? Isn't that a betrayal of their trust? Now it's time to put nation first, Kashmiri people first, but not the separatists. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe and comment on whichever platform you are watching the news box.